hi guys my name is akidedi welcome back to my channel so if you're new here it's lovely to have you but if you're old hey boo it's nice to have you back in today's video we're going to learn how to make simple delicious fish stew okay so um in my last video i i showed you guys how i cleaned my fish nicely so yes you can go and watch that video clean your fish and then let's get cooking so here i have my ingredients for my recipe um all the spices that i'll be using to marinate my fish and the ones i'll be using to cook the stew i'll be leaving all of these in the description box below so it'll be easy to, for you to follow um the video or the recipe okay so check the description box and get all the ingredients that you need now i'm going to marinate my fry my fish we're going to be frying this fish and we want to make sure that it is tasty and it's properly seasoned okay so i add all my dry seasoning to this i make sure to dab or to, to dry up my fish before adding the spices okay because i want it to be a dry rub so yes i massage all of the um, spices into it and then set it aside for later now to chop our onions i'm using one large onion for this recipe the stew is not going to be too much because the fish is not too much i mean it's just the perfect quantity of fish to stew that we're going to be making so yes if you want a large quantity or a larger quantity you need to add more ingredients to it probably double it or so okay so i'm chopping the first part of the onions into smaller slices and then for the second part i'll be chopping them into rather large sizes because i'll be using that later in the recipe so yes this is how it looks like this is how thick this one looks like and this is the thickness of that thickness for the other one okay so bear that in mind now to my tomatoes i'm using about six medium-sized tomatoes chop it to the um sizes that you want but i like to chop it to about medium sizes okay because i don't want to see all of it mush up in the stew i still want to see some sticks of tomatoes in my stew so yes i'm going to chop up all the tomatoes if this is your first time here a warm welcome to you aqua but my people thank you for coming to watch this video i hope you are impressed enough to subscribe to this channel and if you like this recipe please give this video a thumbs up and also share so other people can watch as well giving the video a thumbs up goes a long way to help me so please like this video thank you now we are done chopping our vegetables we can comfortably fry our fish so I have some all-purpose flour in my plate and I'll be gently rubbing it around my fish. Okay, so when I dip the fish into the flour, I like to knock off the excess because I like to um, gently or lightly apply the flour. I don't want a thick layer of flour around the fish. And I like to do all of the fish, rub all of the fish before I start frying. That way I don't have to pause, come back, go back in there, get flour on the fish, go to the oil, drop it. No, I just like to do all of that and then pack it on the side. That way when I get to my hot oil, I just drop all the fish in there gently and then it all fries evenly and it cooks, all of them cooks at the same time. So you might, you might want to keep that tip with you. Also, I did not season my flour at all because the seasoning on the fish is perfect. And I'll be dropping this fish in stew and the stew also contains seasoning so you don't want to season the flour otherwise it's going to be too much seasoning in the stew and it won't taste too good nobody wants over seasoned stew okay so also bear that in mind don't even add salt at all so when one side of the fish is done frying I just flip it over and fry the other side as well So once all of our fish is done frying, we take it all out of the oil and this is what it looks like and I believe it looks so good with all those seasoning around it. It looks just perfect and tasty for any dish at all, okay? So now I let my oil sit for a bit and I strain it and I'm using the same oil to cook my stew. Into the hot oil, I added some curry powder and to that I'm adding the chopped onions. So these onions are the small sizes that are chopped if you realize, okay? So we're gonna fry these onions until they sweat up a bit and then it lets 
gets off some nice beautiful aroma you know very well hot oil with some curry powder and some onions is a magical combination you don't want to skip that okay so to that i've added some tomato paste and i'm going to be adding some powdered chili as well so you're going to use the powdered chili according to your heat preference okay we're going to stir up this and then allow the tomato paste to fry really well After about five minutes of cooking the tomato paste is beginning to look gritty that means it is ready and we can add our fresh tomatoes and that's exactly what i have done so add your fresh tomatoes there gently and allow it to cook for about three minutes okay this recipe is so easy it's so fast but it is absolutely amazing and trust me you're going to love it right from start to finish okay so now i'm adding one shrimp cube to it and I'm going to be adding some black pepper, nutmeg, rosemary, some salt, and a little bit of basil to my stew. And once you mix this together, get ready for the aroma and the flavors to knock you off your feet. It is so aromatic and so delicious. I've added about half cup of water to my stew just to loosen it up a little bit because I realized it was too thick. And I don't want very, 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 very thick stew. Okay, so we're going to mix that up as well and allow it to fry away. Finally, we're ready to add our fish. So you need to be careful uh, with the salt, con salt quantity that you add to your stew because the fish also has some salt in there. You don't want to over salt your stew, otherwise you're going to be having a hell of a time trying to fix it, okay? Once the fish goes in, I'm adding some green scotch bonnets and I think a little bit of red, yes, or orange, whatever the color is. So some um scotch bonnet peppers and this is going to be adding up to the aromas and it's going to add a little bit of heat to our stew as well boy this is so good like doesn't it look so good already we are almost done at this point you can taste for salt and make sure that everything in there is perfect Finally, I'm going to be adding my largely chopped onions, the one we chopped before, do you remember? Yes, I added to it and these are going to add some crunch to our stew, which I love. What would you like to have this stew with? Yam, kinky, plantain, what, gari, rice? What would you like to have it with? It goes with basically everything and it's going to be so delicious as well. So once you add your onions, do not cook it for too long, okay? After the onions, just about a minute is enough. Even some would want to cook it for just 30 seconds, yes, because they want to maintain most of the crunch in it. Mm. The stew is so good. It's calling me and my yam is ready. So yes, I'm having it with some boiled yam and it is so delicious. It was so good. It was a hit. Everybody loved it as usual. And I hope you get to try this recipe. Let me know in the comment section when you try this recipe. And do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Video.